This is Pioneer Field Agronomist Scott Eversker with a weekly agronomy update from Southern Illinois concerning wheat harvest tips. So to think about wheat harvest coming up over the next couple weeks, the first thing we really begin to think about is test weight. The best way to protect test weight in a wheat crop is to harvest the crop actually before it gets dry or before it has the chance to get re-wetted after it becomes dry once. So if you think about a wheat kernel, it's composed of about 82% dry matter in the endosperm. That endosperm is basically made up of mostly starch and protein. And once that kernel gets dry down to around 13%, and then if that kernel gets re-wetted, it basically expands. And when then it expands, when it then begins to dry down, it leaves behind some air pockets. And every time it happens, that same thing, uh, same instance will occur. So the wheat kernel will expand, and then when it dries back down from that re-wetting event, it's not gonna get back to its original size. So you think about test weight being a measure of a specific volume uh, on a specific weight, you begin to see why an enlarged kernel with more air pockets in the starch content is gonna have less test weight. So the best way again to protect that is harvest the wheat maybe in the high teens and go ahead and uh, artificially dry that crop versus letting it get dry in the field. Now, from a re-wetting standpoint, it's not about the amount of rain you actually get, it's about the number of events you actually do receive. So whether it's a half inch of rain or an inch and a half of rain, you're probably not gonna see a difference in the reduction in test weight. It's all gonna be considered one rain event. So as you think about combine settings, as we get into the crop, and as of right now, we're not seeing a lot of fusarium head scab show up. Um, although we had the weather for it, we are seeing a little bit. A lot of acres did get some fungicides applied to help uh, prevent and protect the, the crop from the disease. So it looks like overall we're in pretty good shape. Um, so as you think about combine settings, just watch it closely. Uh, make a few rounds, make some adjustments, get out, check the back of the combine. 17 to 18 kernels laying on the ground represents about a bushel per acre. So that gives you a guideline of what may be, uh, what you may be throwing out the back of the combine. As you think about bin drying, and, and you're putting the crop in the bin to dry, obviously with continuous flow dryers, um, guys know how to set them, they work well. If you're putting 18 or 20% wheat into a bin, uh, be careful not to put too much in there. Uh, wheat is gonna have airflow resistance about 2X of what corn does. So it's gonna take a lot more airflow uh, to try and move through and dry a wheat crop in a bin uh, than what it is going to take for, say, a, say a corn crop. So definitely take a little bit more caution as you're trying to artificially dry wheat in a bin without a uh, continuous flow system. As always, if you have any questions, uh, please contact your local Pioneer sales rep. Thanks. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.